Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about using the formula F is equal to BIL, which is how to calculate the force on a conducting wire within a magnetic field. Right, I know that title is a bit long, but it's going to be the force on a conducting wire within a magnetic field. Right, so before we start, let's have a quick recap upon the motor effect. So check this out, guys. Okay, so hopefully we've watched my previous videos on the motor effect before watching this video. Otherwise, this video won't make sense. You have to obviously follow the scheme of work, guys. Right, so over here, we've got a bar magnet, a north pole, and a south pole resting on a table. This is a 3D diagram. This is the best way I can try and actually explain it to you. Right now, we've got a wire running within it, yes? So we've got a wire going within it. Right, and the first thing I'm going to do now is draw the direction of the current. Right, so the current goes out of the positive terminal. The positive terminal is the long one, and it goes round the back, going all the way through here, okay? So we've now got current going through this wire here. The field lines are still going from north to south, so the field lines are going out of the north into the south, so out of the north into the south here. So there we go. So, right, we should hopefully remember that. Now we have current passing through a wire, which is perpendicular to the field. We should know that the wire will experience a force. So the wire will experience a force. Right, so there's a force experienced by the wire. So that wire will actually physically move up. So the wire will physically move up here. Right, but today's question is, what is the magnitude of that force? What is the size of that force? How could I calculate the size of that force? Well, we could use the following. The force on the wire is equal to the magnetic flux density times by the current times by the length of the wire within the field. So force is equal to magnetic flux density times by the current times by the length of the wire within the field. Right, we can put that down into the in symbols, it looks like. Right, so where F is the force, magnetic flux density is B, I is the current and L is the length of the wire within the field. Right, so you've got to know the units. So the units of this are going to be Force is still measured in Newtons. Magnetic flux density, right, this is a new thing. It's capital T to stand for Tesla, guys. So capital T to stand for Tesla. I'll write that down over here, so Tesla. Uh, and the next one is going to be current. So current is measured in amps, okay? And the length of the wire, always simple units of length, it's still meters over here. Right, so the next question is, well, what is the length of the wire? Well, the length of the wire, if you look at the diagram over here, right, so the length of the wire is this length of the wire over there. This length of the wire. So that length of the wire, which is perpendicular to the field, guys. So that is the length of the wire. Right, okay, so we've got the formula now. Let's do a couple of questions to test our understanding and make sure that we're all on the ball and how to use the equation. Question one, a 20 centimeter length of wire is placed in the magnetic field of flux density 20 Tesla. T stands for Tesla, which is the unit of magnetic flux density, but we know that from before. A current of 50 milliamps is passed through the wire. A current of 50 milliamps. What is the force experienced by the wire? The first thing you should do is identify the traps in this question. 20 centimeters, well, we know that the formula is in meters, we must convert this. And milliamps, we don't like milliamps, we need to convert to amps. So the first thing is, let's convert. So 20 centimeters is the same as 0.2 meters. Then we've got 50 milliamps, which is the same as 0.05 amps. Make sure you convert that. Yes, milli means times 10 to the minus 3. So milli is times 10 to the minus 3. Um, what is the force experienced by the wire? So therefore, write down the formula. We've got F is equal to B times by I times by L. Yes, that's the formula. I'll write it down. So therefore, then you just plug it in. F is equal to B, which is going to be 20 tesla times by the current, which is going to be 0.05 amps. Good, we like the amps, not the milliamps. We got rid of it. Times by the length of the wire, 0.2 meters. Let's chuck it in there. Times by 20, times by 0.2. It's going to be 0.2. So the first one is going to be 0.2. No unit, no mark. So make sure you put the unit down. It's going to be Newtons. So it's going to be Newtons here. Wonderful, so two marks, bang. Done. Right, what about question number two? Question number two. The battery delivers a current of 1.5 amps through a wire which has 20 centimeters of its length in the field. A force of three newtons is experienced by the wire. What is the magnetic flux density B and what are the units? Right, so the first thing to do is obviously look out for the traps. Here is the first trap. You must convert that to meters. It will be 0.2 meters. 
The rest of it is fine. Right, so let's write down the formula. F is equal to B times by I times by L. And you are given this formula in the exam, guys. So you're given this formula in the exam. You're not required to memorize it. Right, so you've got to work out the magnetic flux density. Let's rearrange the formula. So B is equal to F divided by I times by L. Yes, B is equal to F divided by I times by L. Use your algebra and your math skills to pull it into physics here. And obviously, it's simple rearranging here. Then plug in the values in. We've got three newtons. Yes, we've got three at the top. Divide by the current. The current is going to be 1.5 amps times by the length of the wire within the field. Guys, it's 0.2. So 0.2 over there. I'm getting the answer of the magnetic flux density being 10. Guys, 10. But what are the units, guys? Hopefully, we can remember that the units of the magnetic flux density is going to be T for Tesla. So it's going to be T. Two marks. Well, maybe three. An extra one for fun. Right, and that's it for today's session. Let's have a quick recap before we go. So from the start, today's title is going to be F is equal to BIL and using that formula. It is the way to calculate the force on a conducting wire within a magnetic field. We have a quick recap on the motor effect. We know that when you have current passing through a wire perpendicular to a field, it will experience a force. Yes. To calculate the size of that force, you can use the formula F is equal to B times by I times by L. And we know force is in newtons, magnetic flux density is Tesla, current is in amps, length of the wire is in meters. And then we did two examples when we had to calculate the force first of all, and second of all, the magnetic flux density B. Right, and that's it for another session in Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. Make sure you like and subscribe to my videos to keep me going. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, guys. Ciao, ciao, goodbye, and good luck.